You know, there'll be lots of people that will tell you, uh, you can't train in a reinforcement based program because that just won't work. But I'm here to say, it's the nuances of reinforcement that a lot of dog trainers just don't understand. I'm going to show you in this short little video how I break my own dog. Three-year-old dog, com brilliant understanding of how to touch her nose to a target. But just how I make a small change in the delivery, the placement of the reinforcement, I completely confuse my dog. And if this was, say, a novice person starting out, they would believe, well, my dog is not as clever, or maybe my dog's being stubborn, or my dog just wants to stare at the food. It's not it at all. The truth is, the more we learn, the smarter our dogs appear. Okay, round one. I'm going to show you that my dog actually knows her job. Touch your nose to the target and hold it. And watch how I place the reinforcement exactly where her, her nose is. I want her to be looking away from me and at the target when she gets her reinforcement. It's a critical step. Next round, watch how I alter the placement of reinforcement. Same be great behavior to start, but now I'm delivering the cookie with my dog looking at me. And just watch how this changes that beautiful nose target that I start with. The first few touches are going to be really good, but look at how that one got more quicker and how fast she is to turn her head away. Now, look at the difficulty my dog has even touching the target. I've completely lost the skill. She now is just resting her chin and getting frustrated. Did you see that lip flick? She doesn't understand why she can no longer earn the reinforcement she was getting. The dog appears to be stubborn or maybe not very clever but it's not at all. It's my mechanics. It's human error. It's the dog appearing less than because of me. Okay, so now I want to bring back those really good mechanics. I'm going to re reward maybe a less than perfect touch because I, I want that unwanted behavior to go away. I want to bring her back to that beautiful nose target we started with. As a side note, watch when I reload my reinforcement, I withhold the stick preventing her from hitting it without getting reinforced. Round three, more sloppy mechanics. This time I'm gonna reward on the stick. On the handle of the stick, watch how quickly this alters the dog's nose touch from a brilliant nose touch to a slide up the handle of the stick because I'm just placing the reinforcement right at the end of the stick. She's a clever dog. It doesn't take her long to figure out. All I have to do is slide up the handle. This is just one small example of how the nuances of reinforcement can alter our dog's understanding. If you'd like to learn more about the nuances of dog training, then click the link you'll find in this post because for the next few days, I have a brand new series available free to everyone.